Hi guys, so um, as you saw my unboxing video of the uh, Dutch oven set, well I haven't had a chance to use it yet but this is the first thing, I'm just going to use a skillet, I've used cast iron frying pans before, nothing new, just it's the simplest thing to try out so that's what I'm going to give a go. Um, and um, yeah, so let's just get the fire going, I'm just going to fry an egg. And um, yeah, let's get on with it. <coughs> just move the tripod around and uh, move it over here. Move that down there like that. Right, <coughs> just going to get these blocks out of the way. Right. There's a family of wood lights spinning under there. I could eat them, but I'm not going to try that yet. Actually, I might go through fried blocks. I might try that. Right. <coughs> This will light up first time. There we go. Just using the old PJ cotton balls. Burn for a while. They're not bad. Just back to basics. Crawling with wood lices. It's not a real good habit at. The truth is that I haven't got enough wood. Um, just, I could go and get some, but at the moment I can't really be bothered. So I'm um, just, just scrounged a bit from around here. Seriously, guys, like there's tons of wood like, down in me. 
definitely going to fry some in the fry pan. I see um, IPTB, whatever it is. Sorry, I can't remember it. 13, you ate some whole little while back. So it tastes like shrimp, so I will be doing the same. Guys, when I've got a roaring fire going, I'll bring you back. Sean will watch this for like 20 minutes. Anyway, see you in a bit, guys. Right, guys, so I'm back now. I'll put all the wood lice in the pan, put a little bit of oil in. I don't know if you meant to do that. Just going to stick it straight on there. And hopefully, they'll die as soon as the pan heats up. I think they're all dead now. Just give them a little fry. Yeah, you know that sticky stuff that was on it? That was like, I think that's just fat. Just get my spork. Yeah, it's fat. Just a bit icky. I think they're done when uh, they open up. and done that. <sighs> Melted my sport bloody again. It's typical of me. Do it for you guys. Three, two, one. 
doesn't really taste so much. Gritty. Maybe that's just from them walking around. don't taste them much. Uh, some people say this tastes like shrimps, but I don't think so. so uh, I'll eat them in a survival situation, but as a food, but can't say they taste so much. Let's see the ice. Oh, put that on in a minute. Alright guys, I'll just get this egg cracked and that, and uh, see you in a bit guys. Right, so yeah, I've just got the eggs, the egg on the go now, and um, yeah, the only thing I would say with this is that this handle does get quite hot, so obviously you got to have something to grab it with, so that's why I might put, just put like a cloth in there or something, um, when in my box, just so I've got it there to grab with. Other than that, you could use a shirt or something, or your shirt sleeve. But yeah, I think I might have the trivet a bit close to the um, fire because yeah, it's just gone a bit hot. So. Oh, and I haven't got a spatula. I've got an. Uh, Look for one more minute, guys. Stay in a bit. Yeah, I just had to flip it with my spork it in the end because, yeah, they wouldn't want anything in there. That... My mate carved me a spatula, which I'll put in my transier set, which is pretty good. Oh, yeah, guys. <clears throat> At the weekend, gonna try and get this uploaded before the weekend, but got a mate coming over who's, um, we, I'm doing my Silver Duke of Edinburgh and the practice expedition, it went well, everything really enjoyed it but I didn't bring the video camera because in the end my brother wanted to do some vids and I don't think he did in the end anyway and also I didn't want to lose the camcorder or break it even though I'd, we haven't paid that much for it and thirdly I don't think I would have had time to fi film, I mean yeah, like you're always on the go when you're hiking, so I'll film my own hike, but anyway, so yeah, this mate of mine, he, um, I've been mates with him for ages, but he's, he is, hasn't really done anything like, um, that's going to be really hot up here, one minute guys, I'll just uh, try and find something, I just have to use this. Alright, so yeah, this mate of mine, he's never really done anything outdoorsy or anything. Outdoorsy, yeah. Um, but he's, um, he just came on the Silver Duke of Edinburgh practice. And um, he's just finished his GCSE, he's year 11, so his name's Leon, by the way. Um, so just so you know, he is. Anyway, so yeah, and um, He's there, uh, so I said to him, do you want to come down Friday night and um, like just camp out? So that's what we're doing, going to use the duchy. My brother's come with me. He's going to use his hammock. He's just ordered a tarp, but it might not come in time, we don't know. But yeah, all exciting stuff, guys. So I just wanted to tell you about that. It's going to be look, brilliant. We're going to do some of the ribs, uh, the sticky ribs, Foxy and Brabo. 
made them like, look like um, in their duchies. So my turn's up go now. See how that turns out. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad actually. It'll be brilliant if I get it right. So also gonna bake a loaf. In oh yeah, guys and then. Um, So it's cooled down a bit now, so um yeah, just gonna get a stick. Right. So not bad, I think I got a bit burnt because I haven't got the necessary equipment. I haven't got a bowl or anything. So yeah, I think you just, you really, you just um, wash these out with a bit of fairy liquid. Um, don't like scrub them hard or anything. Um, and uh, yeah, because I've always take the seasoning out of them. So. I don't know, I think I might re-season these, I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to like cook a proper nice meal on all this, like. Don't know, I think I might do like, in the morning, I might do sausages in this, eggs on the griddle, and then um, eggs and bacon on the griddle, and then, uh, Mushrooms, maybe in this, you know, all your usual fry ups. So, yeah, it's going to be a brilliant weekend. And, um, if I'll get some, um, like charcoal briquettes and um, because like I don't really want to start with wood straight away like I'll do my like ribs over a fire but if you're like trying to control the amount of coals like charcoal briquettes are a nice size so And it's not like this where you got like charred end completely whole that part. One of the best egg I've ever tasted. It's got a weird flavour to it, so I might just need to give them a scrub. But um I don't know, but the guy said he cleaned it out with fairy liquid. That might be what it was, I don't know. But I'm going to give it all a good scrub when I get in. I think I've got to re season the griddle though because it was a bit rusty. So. But yeah. Now, pretty good, guys. So. I'll uh, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I've got 120. Well, it's 124. It's like 125. Around about 125 subscribers. By the time this is uploaded, hopefully I'll have 125 at the moment, um, which I think is a real achievement for me, personal. And um, yeah, as most of you know already, I'm going to Sweden, so I will try and like film every like minute of it, so you can just really see what it's like, and everything I'm doing out there, because. And it's just going to be so enjoyable because this this is going to be the first year we're actually going out there doing a bit of bushcraft. You, like, cause we've only just discovered bushcraft. I can't believe I've only been doing it about four months. It seems like ages. But um, yeah, no. And I actually started the YouTube channel when I started my bushcraft. So, like, I've been doing a bit of bushcraft before that. Um, but. Um, just being outside and that, but um, 
and also there's this guy who we knew who did a bit of bushcraft but I didn't really know what it like no, it was called bushcraft kind of so, so yeah it's been interesting and um yeah if if any of you aren't members on the bushcraft uk forum just go on there and make yourself an account or just go and have a look at least because um i find it brilliant you can but i picked up bargain this bloody bargain that was um and uh And uh, yeah, I bought a few. I put my hexy stone off there. And the next thing, I, next thing I'm gonna get is my tarpon hammer. And then, if I've got enough, I'm gonna get this field sharpening kit, which is like 28 quid. Plus, it's got like a strop and a 4,000 and 6,000 grit uh, combination stone. So, yeah, that's another thing I've got really like get my knife sharpening together because but I haven't even got like the block the sharpening stones at the moment. But that's that's the first thing I've got to get. But yeah money's a bit tight. And also we need to get it before we get to go to Sweden and um gotta get the essentials such as the hammock top. So yeah, sorry I've been blubbing on a bit. Yeah my videos are getting way too long at the moment. Like my last one I um, it was Bannock tried to cook him. Bloody 24 minutes and two parts. I can't upload more than 15 minutes, and like, I don't know how you actually get more than 15 minutes, but anyway, I'll um, see you on the next one, guys. See ya.